joined on the sideline by Ocelot. That's right, Shocks. I am joined by Ocelot in studio for the first time in years. Carlos, we go way back. It is such a pleasure to see you here. I can imagine it must be a pleasure for you to watch your team playing. Now, I think it's fair to say expectations for Vitality and G2 before the season could not be further apart. How surprised are you with where we are right now with G2 being 2-0 up? Well, after having the two strongest years of, I think, any Western team in 19 and 20, it's crazy that last year we didn't qualify for Worlds and this year we go for rookies and quote-unquote unproven names. So we, we, the, the reason we did it is, is, is because we wanted to uh, build something that with humility and, and work and just being here it was neither expect, expected nor unexpected. We just started the season and we wanted to build ourselves up and I think we're in a pretty good position now. Of course, we're too old, but who knows, right? Carlos, I can see the smile under there. And I'm, I'm smiling, watched you. I'm smiling. Be I watched this. you and the crew <laughs> jumping for joy. So, is this going to be a clean 3-0? I mean, it would be a good change after all the 0-3s in my life. <laughs> what you know? message do you want the fans at home to hear you say to Perks right now? And uh, he's, he's helped build Gito's legacy and it's sweet, it's, it's, it's sweet and sour to, be, to beat him. I know it's not the answer that many people want to hear from me, but I have it in my heart and despite everything that's happened, obviously, and uh, if, I hope we win, but um, I, I definitely don't feel great about having kicking him out, you know? I'll tell you now, this is an earnest and honest response. Carlos and Luca are both performers. They perform for me. They perform for you at home. And this is the real Carlos speaking. Dude, thank you so much. <laughs> you Best much, of man. luck for the following games. Let's head to the casters. Take us into game three.